Thank you, Madam President. Civicus welcomes the report on the intersessional meeting for dialogue and cooperation on human rights in the 2030 agenda. We strongly concur with the report's consensual conclusions that inclusive collaborative recovery strategies require effective involvement of civil society and that access to information, transparent communication, solidarity, shared responsibility and mutual accountability are crucial. While this was true before the COVID-19 pandemic, it is now even more critical that these laudable aims are met. We welcome continued commitments of states to the realisation of Agenda 2030. However, none of the SDGs can be realised while civic space is restricted and human rights defenders are attacked. The Civicus Monitor continues to track restrictions in civic space across the globe and shows that only 3% of the world's population is able to effectively speak out, assemble and take action. How then can civil society partner with government to implement sustainable development? How can communities engage and implement these goals at a local level when they are being stifled and their very existence threatened? Misuse of increasing anti-terrorism laws, health emergency laws and cybersecurity laws continue to stifle freedoms of expression, association and peaceful assembly. First to achieve the sustainable development goals in their entirety, civil society must be supported, promoted and protected. Communities must be empowered and those standing up for their rights must be protected. We thank you.